it may prove difficult to handicap the Risen Fighting Federation Women's Atom Weight Tournament after the promotion's card on Sunday at Marine Mesa in Fukuoka, Japan, this on account of two particularly outstanding quarterfinal performances. In the main event of Risen's Aki no Jin, shoot boxing star turned hot MMA prospect Rina Kubota moved to 50, ripping former King of the Cage champion Andy Wynn with a savage liver shot at 323 of the opening round. The 26-year-old striker took two minutes to get warmed up once she did, she found her left hand time and time again, eventually putting it on the Croatian's body and trapping her in a corner. Kubota unloaded with combinations from there, smashing Win with crisp lefts on the chin into the body until a third left to the liver crumpled her in the corner and forced referee Jason Herzog into action. While Kubota remains the tournament's promotional focal point, 20-year-old Brazilian Maria Oliveira Moda was sensational in her unanimous verdict over Alyssa Garcia, taking her ninth straight win. A teammate of Invicta Fighting Championships titlist Jennifer Maia and Ultimate Fighting Championship standout Jessica Andrade at Piranha Volley 2-2, Oliveira sprawled and brawled beautifully, raking Tiny Tim with right crosses and brutal clinch knees to the head and body for 15 minutes. She showed outstanding striking skill and savvy that makes her Kubota's greatest foil in the Grand Prix. In one of the other two 108-pound quarterfinals, 20-year-old Dupont comer Kana Asakura moved to 92 in her three-year career, soundly out-wrestling Poland's Sylvia Juskowitz for 15 minutes. Meanwhile, Spain's Irene Cabela Rivera kicked off the tournament and rebounded from back-to-back -back losses, as she armbarred 43-year-old Miyu Yamamoto, older sister of Narifumi kid Yamamoto, at 226 of round 2. Oliveira crushes Kawajiri Ashiwatari, Kape and Pechi advance in bantamweight GP in a wildcard bout in Risen's bantamweight bracket. Japanese MMA icon Tatsuja Kawajiri was absolutely flattened by undefeated Brazilian Gabriel Lita Oliveira, a vicious lead knee just 60 seconds into the second round doing the damage. Kawajiri controlled the Brazilian from top position for most of round one, but the 39-year-old visibly slowed late in the opening frame eating punches and knees from the 27-year-old blue chipper over the final minute. As the second stands opened, the former Shuto world champion continued to indulge his worst instincts, freely swinging at the longer man, eating punches and eventually shooting face first into a vicious stepping knee that left him supine, still and bleeding from the mouth in a brutal sight. Elsewhere in the bracket, bantamweight king of Pancras Shintaro Ishiwitari won his eighth fight in his last nine, handing previously unbeaten Russian Ahmed Musakev his first loss, as he landed the harder standing shots and claimed late top position on the wrestler to cinch up the victory. Portugal-based Angolan Manuel Cape burst into the MMA consciousness, as he dumped Ursin Yamamoto nephew of kid and son of Mew in the corner with a left roundhouse kick to the dome in only 71 seconds and Francis Kevin Pecci won a highly debatable split decision over South Korean Jae Hoon Moon. Despite Petchi eating many punches on the feet, he took Moon's back on several occasions to earn two of the three judges' cards. Legend Sakuraba, Shamrock Waste Time Prospects Nasakawa, King Reina take decisions The biggest names on the bill, aged MMA legends Kazushi Sakuraba, 48, and Frank Shamrock, 44, went to a 10-minute time limit draw in their grappling match which was essentially a waste of time. Shamrock was a late substitution for another all-time great in Dan Henderson, who might have actually attempted a takedown. The 10-minute encounter featured Sakuraba slowly stalking Shamrock, who circled away and occasionally grabbed a double-collar tie to control the Gracie Hunter and thwart his glacial single-leg takedown attempts. Risen's young poster child, undefeated teenage kickboxer Tenshin Nasakawa, had the toughest bout of his nascent MMA career against fellow flyweight striker Yamato Fujita but prevailed via unanimous decision. Nasakawa, who turned 19 in August, got the better of the striking exchanges against Fujita, a national champion amateur boxer who nearly qualified for the 2012 London Olympics. The teenager landed a devastating, fussy-altering left hook in the first round. It was truly unbelievable that the blow did not knock out Fujita entirely, though it may have broken his jaw, instantly filling the debuting fighter's mouth with blood. However, Fujita showed a wrestling game that belied his boxing background, threatening Nasakawa with takedowns that kept the hot prospect off guard. It also allowed Fujita to land punching combinations when Nasakawa lowered his hands. Despite a strong second round, Nasakawa kept his work rate right up in round three, where he landed a bevy of punches, knees to the body and chopping low kicks. He also spent time spent standing in the Ilianoki position, swooping into Fujita's guard with heavy punches. With the victory, Nasakawa moves to 40 in his brief pro-MMA career Fujita drops his pro debut after going 20 as an amateur. 
Another of Risen's coveted prospects, King Reina Mira, had much more trouble collecting a unanimous nod over Christiane Cyborg Justino training partner Crystal Stokes, who was making her pro debut. Though she was nearly armbarred at the end of the first round, the six-foot one Stokes hit Mira repeatedly on the feet with rangy punches and dominated the second frame. However, the American's conditioning failed her in the final round, allowing Mira to tag her repeatedly with low kicks and wild overhand rights in the final 60 seconds of their 165-pound affair. It sealed the fight and moved the 21-year-old Jadoka to 70. Returning from a three-and-a-half-year MMA absence, colorful lightweight striker Viki Akio Nishiura used his grappling to take a unanimous verdict over kickboxing legend Andy Sauer. A two-time K1 Max World Grand Prix champion and four-time shootboxing scup champion, Sauer actually pushed for takedowns early, allowing Nishiura to use a belly-to-back Kimura to sweep him to the floor, a la Sakuraba. Nishiura spent most of the 10-minute opening round in side control in the early stages of round two with single-leg back control, looking for a twister. Impressively, the 34-year-old Sauer managed to take Nishiora's back in the second half of the final round as the Shutu and Dream veteran tired, but it was too little too late. The Dutchman falls to 23 in his brief MMA career. Meanwhile, K1 kickboxing star Jerome LeBanner at 44 years old, with five MMA fights to his credit and none of them in nearly seven years showed up to collect a paycheck against Ghanaian heavyweight Roque Martinez. Martinez easily secured a takedown, passed to side control and cranked on the Frenchman's head with a scarf hold to elicit a tap in just 209. The card opened with a trio of kickboxing bouts. In a battle of 112-pound 19-year-olds, Jin Mandakoro upset local Fukuoka favorite Issei Ishii via majority decision due to early kicking offense rise kickboxing star Yuki fought to a majority draw with Kurogi Darvish in a 136-pound fight and at 129 pounds, Yoshihisa Morimoto wasted Ryota Rensai Jim with a right hook at 200 of round. 3. 